Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, uh, we just got done shooting a 14 week baby bump uh, pregnancy photo shoot, kinda, I'm no photographer, but uh, if y'all wanna see that picture, I'll put Kim's Instagram right here. Um, but today we have a sort of different video, it's more serious. Um, we've got five things that the coronavirus has negatively changed about our pregnancy experience. So y'all stick around. Me being the nerd that I am, I'm getting the chance to play with a new camera that I've been meaning to play with anyways. Um, but yeah, so we have uh, five things that um, are negatively affecting the pregnancy experience for Kim and I. And the first one, just to kick it right on off, is um, just how the norm of life has been changed. Coronavirus or COVID-19, we'll use them interchangeably, um, has shown that Kim's population, and that is the population of pregnant women, is more susceptible to developing or being more susceptible to getting the virus just because of them being pregnant. Um, now, me being in the public health field, I feel that when I do any type of video like this, it's very important that when I do, um, the information that I am giving out, even though it's to a small captured audience, is very factual. There is information that says that the pregnant population is more at risk now does that mean that she's more at risk for developing coronavirus not necessarily but what studies have found is that because kim is her immune system is working for two it's her and the baby right now um it's not functioning as highly as it normally would to support kim <laughs> sorry y'all we're in <laughs> you good mm -mm. Viruses such as the flu and pneumonia, and that strand in itself also encapsulates coronavirus. So is there literature that is saying that they're linked uh, directly? Not yet, but it's they're showing that it's very likely for her to be more susceptible to developing it. I think they're it. including um, pregnant women in with people who have, was it, pre-existing pre -existing health conditions, conditions. Uh, like heart disease, yeah. um, any type of respiratory issue, anything like that. Just because they don't know what would happen to a pregnant woman exactly. if they did get. And I think that's the, the, the most scary part about it. Um, we don't know what this virus can do to Kim or the baby, the fetus. Um, we just don't know. My last appointment I had at the doctor's office, they would not allow Brandon to come with me. They said I can only take patients at this time because of all of the coronavirus stuff. Yeah. So he's missing out on like the ultrasounds and all this other stuff. Now, now I'm thinking, what's going to happen when we get to the delivery? And there have been some reports of hospitals putting restrictions on how many people can be in the, the birth, the, is it the birth room? The delivery. delivery room, thank you. Um, and we already have it like mapped out that we want it like me, of course, and Kim's mom to be in the room while the baby is being born. But now there are some states that are saying that there's a restriction where you can only have one person. And there's also uh, states that are saying you can't have anybody. It's just the medical staff. Um, and all of that is still up in the air right now. I even um, read one where like the I think the parent had the coronavirus and the baby was born and they tested the baby. The baby had coronavirus and the parent and the baby were split up split for like up. a week or two. Yeah. Um, so for those reasons, we're of course still trying to be extra careful, but it is a little um, worrisome to us because it's going to be completely just heart wrenching if I can't see my child being born because of a precaution to keep her and the child safe. Right now, we don't know how that's going to play out, but we do know that there are some places that are doing that. Um, so that's not completely out of the question. The third thing is actually grocery stores. Wherever y'all are watching this from, I'm sure y'all know that like the grocery stores have just been completely demolished. And as soon as they stock stuff, it just goes right back completely empty. It's like people are camping out yeah in the stores and just waiting for them to put stuff up and just wiping it out again yeah 
Um, we ordered some stuff off of um, what was it? Walmart. Walmart. Walmart grocery. Grocery like pickup. We got maybe four out of the fifteen items yeah. that we put on our list because they were out of everything. Yep. Um, and it and it is because people are hoarding. I mean, I'm gonna call it what it is. People are are buying up. Um, extreme amounts of food and it's extremely uh frustrating but what are you gonna do now i cook 90 percent of the time kim can cook um and she doesn't not cook because she's bad it's just that i see cooking as more of like a relaxation thing after a long day she sees it as more of a task so it's just a, a good trade-off i don't I got lucky yeah i don't mind doing the cooking it's frustrating because now we're very limited in what we can get but it is making us more creative, if you will, um, for the meals that we are cooking. So the fourth thing that has negatively affected our pregnancy process is family gatherings. We wanted to do like a mini gender reveal party. However, with you not being able to have more than what, 10 people? And I think they've even re restricted it down lower to 10 now. So that's yeah. out of the question as of right now yeah and and also um us thinking farther down the line in the second slash third trimester um the baby shower itself you know this is a really special occasion where you normally invite family and friends just like a wedding um and now we're having we to even think celebrate that yeah we're having to think twice about how that will even play out as of right now you know end of march early april the, the virus is very rampant right now and I think as of right now we know for a fact we're not going to be able to do a gender reveal because yeah. i won't even go back to work until the yeah after the 24th of april yeah so and that I'm not waiting that long to know the gender for my yeah. child. <laughs> so that in itself is is really um frustrating um but you know what are you gonna do you know but i do think that it is important to say um it is helping to get through this process with us maintaining our faith we remember that god has already taken care of this situation yeah definitely the final fifth uh fifth thing that has affected our pregnancy process is now us knowing that this will never be 100 percent eradicated this will never go away 100 percent. it's here and just like the flu, just like pneumonia, measles. Um, measles, things like that, it's never gonna go away 100%. There'll still be traces of it. And just knowing how easy it is for this to spread, it'll always be in the back of our minds of making us a little anxious about childcare and, and taking the baby to see family and out things of that public. sort and, and out in public, yeah. Um, so yeah. the fifth one is just how do we even move past this right after the baby is born that's when most people want to see the baby and they want to see kim make sure everything's going well um it's extremely difficult for us because we we will not be able to do it um and it'll well, just be to signing a waiver <laughs> who, who all did you come in contact with in the exactly last two weeks? <laughs> um and it's it's frustrating because you know it's it's family but at the same time you have to take these precautions now to make sure that the baby's safe and that kim is safe i'm safe um so yeah it's things that we're thinking about long long term but things that are definitely important and need to be thought about now so those are the five things that we have for um things that are negatively affecting the pregnancy process for us and y'all let, let us know what y'all think um you know of course keeping this as positive as possible um we are just making assumptions as to how things will play out, but if things continue how they are now, it is important for us to take precautions. So y'all let us know what y'all think down below. There's a little red subscribe button right down here somewhere. Um, click that and that will shoot you a notification every time we post a new video. And we would love for y'all to see all of our future work. So uh, with that, we will bid y'all adieu. And until the next one, You'll take care, be safe.